All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And the Buffalo Bills uh, find their defensive coordinator. Uh, they promote a linebacker's coach, uh, Bobby Babbage, to defensive coordinator. So will he call the plays? Uh, I hope so. I hope Sean McDermott gets the fuck out of the way and just concentrates on head coaching. So they promoted for from within for their coordinator positions. They uh, named Joe Brady the uh, full-time uh, offensive coordinator. And now they have named Bobby Babich the defensive coordinator. So uh, I like this move. Uh, Bobby Babich was interviewing for some head coaching jobs. He didn't get them. Uh, so... He stays with the Buffalo Bills. He is our defensive coordinator. Um, I want to see what he does with our defense without Sean McDermott calling the plays. Although I think Sean McDermott is going to try and interfere. He did it with Leslie Frazier. Uh, I want to see what uh, Bobby Babbage uh, can do. So congratulations to the Buffalo Bills and us Buffalo Bills fans. Uh, congratulations to Bobby Babbage. He's staying in Buffalo. Uh, just like Joe Brady, staying in Buffalo. Um, it, it's, uh, they, they, just a couple days after naming Joe Brady the offensive coordinator, they turn around and name Bobby Babbage the defensive coordinator. But like I said, I like this move. Um, it'll be interesting to see. Um, if Sean McDermott lets him call the plays. Last season, head coach Sean McDermott was the defensive play caller, and it's unknown whether he will stay in that role or if Babich will take over. Babich uh, received requests to interview for D.C. jobs uh, with the Giants, Packers, and Dolphins, but is staying put in Buffalo. So... I hope Sean McDermott lets him call the plays because <coughs> uh, he needs to. Uh, Babbage joined the Bills in 2017 as the assistant defen or defensive backs coach. He was named the safeties position coach in 2018 where he stayed for four years. With the help of Babbage, the Bills were number one in total defense in 2021. In 2022, the 40-year-old four four took over the linebacker's coach job from his father, Bob Babich, who held the position from 2017 to 2021. Last season, the Bills started off rocky, but won their final five regular season games to finish 11-6 11, 11 and, and take the AFC East Division title. They defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card round, but fell to the defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs in the divisional round. I think Sean McDermott has to let Bobby Babich call the place. <coughs> That's something Sean must do. Uh, he can't keep getting involved, but uh, like I said, congratulations, Bobby Babich. Um, on being named the defensive coordinator uh and of course you know joe brady like i said just a couple of days ago was named the offensive coordinator for the buffalo bills so i don't know uh the terms of this um if it's just a one year uh, i don't know what bobby babich has left on his contract but um it, it should be interesting. Uh, and like I, uh, like I said, I like this move. And congratulations, defensive coordinator Bobby Babich uh, staying with the Buffalo Bills. And congratulations to the Buffalo Bills and us Buffalo Bills fans. Um, we wanted a defensive coordinator. Uh, and the Bills went out and got their defensive coordinator. They promoted from within on the offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. So that's good. 
uh, Josh doesn't have to learn a new system with a new offensive coordinator, and the defense don't have to learn a new system with a defense with a new defensive coordinator. Guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Congratulations, Bobby Babbage, the Bills' new defensive coordinator. And as always, go Bills.